What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. And as you can see, we have another episode of Let's Siege. That's right guys, this is going to be our second episode. We have a full army camp right now. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to go over in this episode, <laughs> but I just want to kind of um, give you guys another episode of just some gameplay and some talking and walkthrough. Um, but guys, first off, awesome news. I just um, interviewed this morning... Well, I guess whenever this is posted, I don't know. Um, Tuesday morning, guys, or is it Wednesday? Wednesday Tuesday morning. <laughs> Tuesday morning, guys, I interviewed the CEO and the creative director over at Space 8 Games for Samurai Siege, guys. It was awesome. Um, I'm working on that video now. It was about a 20-minute interview, so I hope that you guys are looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. Those guys were really, really cool. Um, they definitely informed me on a lot of awesome upcoming stuff and they answered some questions that you might not have thought they would have answered so um, I hope y'all are looking forward to that that should be out in um, the next day or so so definitely be looking forward to that um, guys what I'm gonna do here is just kind of go over my base go over a couple things on it um, right now we are uh, castle level 5 um, but we're just gonna kinda go over some of the things that you might run into in Samurai Siege because since it is a relatively new game a lot of people don't know too much about it so I'm gonna kinda just review my base um, real quick and talk to you guys about some things and then we're going to have an attack alright um, but the first thing that I notice I need to do is I have my little freeze trap right here and these are pretty cool because you get to refill them um, <clears throat> so you don't have to keep placing them they're always there they just empty when someone runs over them and you can refill them which I think is actually pretty cool um, uh, and the other thing that I've really noticed so far that I like is that you can select a large amount of walls so um, it, it generally oops my bad it generally will select um, non corner point wall so if I select this middle one and deselect it'll select all these middle and then if I say select more it will grab all of those and uh, what we're actually gonna do right now guys is I'm gonna show you something else is pretty pretty sweet when you do select more you can upgrade everything at once so boom I'm going to upgrade these walls because I have enough gold for it um, so that's really really cool I love the fact that you can do that it takes so much um, it takes so much less time to do that so that's awesome I definitely um, love that about the game I'm also going to um, I can't really do that we're gonna save some of the gold for some upgrades later um, right here we have the carpenter four out of five of them are busy I kinda like the fact that you only have one building instead of um, five like you get in games like clash um, so on and so forth whatever um, but I'm, I'm also uh, really working working towards getting some of the new defenses and the new troops I have a lightning tower right here we can go and look at the info on it. It's going to be level 2 soon. But it's pretty cool because it shows the effect time of stuff. Um, so it, it shocks for 0.6 seconds. It does 11 uh, damage per that second, blah, 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 so on and so forth. We have the freeze tower right here, which I really, really love. The freeze tower is awesome. It wrecks me whenever I'm attacking bases. Um, so freeze towers are definitely important, and I have it centralized right here on this point for me so that our lightning tower and our archers can hit it. Um, we do have these cannons, which are like mortars in Clash. Um, obviously, since I haven't moved on too far in the game, I don't know too much about um, the rest of the the defenses or weapons or whatever that you get. So we are kind of going through this together, guys, um, and I'm definitely excited about it. We are going to progress together um, and move on in this game. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like the fact that I'm doing this, and a lot of you guys do. Uh, this is gaming with Molt. It's not Clash with Molt or anything like that. I'm a gamer. I like video games. So I'm going to play multiple games. Um, and that's just how it is. <laughs> um, so I hope that you guys um, like what I bring to you. And if you don't, then just watch the videos that you like. And if you don't like a certain video, again, don't watch it. But uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and go into um, battle. And I'm going to show you a couple things in this little window right here. So... Um, up in the top is actually, dang it, I didn't want to click on that. <laughs> Continue. Up in the top is actually your um, single player maps, which um, you'll hear about, you'll hear the CEO actually talk about this in the interview. Talks about how they really spent a lot of time on the single player maps. As you can see, you use it to unlock things. You can come over here and you can see that uh, whatever this one is underneath the clouds will give you the Ani. <laughs> 
the Ani Troll, um, and he is a powerful, tough, not so bright. The Ani Troll is a brutal fighter for maximum impact. Use a commander to control them. Um, if you don't know this, commanders actually will um, command your troops to attack um, defenses. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely excited about going and getting him. Um, but as you can see, you just go along through here, and you can move on. Down here is when you get... Um, a cannon. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Come on. <laughs> my mouse or my fingers are obviously not working. So that's a drum gun. Um, bring the noise with this high speed, high power weapon. Boom, boom, boom. Um, it actually does a lot of damage. Um, it does work to me on defense. But why don't we go ahead or on, yeah, on defense. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get an attack in for you guys. We'll see what we can find. One thing that I've noticed about this game is that there are there is some ridiculous loot that you can run into. Um, I found a base with over a million essence just in that. It was, it was almost two million total resources. So um, once you get up and you get a good army going and you figure out the game and you uh, find some find some good bases, it's really, really easy to progress. This base looks awesome. The walls are pretty low level, um, and all he has is, I'm still learning the levels, but I can tell that his archer towers are lower than mine, as well as his um, freeze tower, but we're going to attack from this corner right up here. We're going to drop a wall breaker, I mean a ram right there. Um, get these guys in here, and as you can see, look right here. You see the triangles above um, those troops' heads. When I drop them in here, those guys aren't doing it. Um, they weren't close enough to the commanders, but whenever you drop the commanders down, there you go, you see those archers? So they have those arrows above their head, that means that they are being commanded by the commanders to go after defenses. So right here you see they skipped all those other buildings and they're going right there uh, for that cannon, which is awesome. I actually really, really like that. It makes this game so much more um, just interesting and really strategic, honestly, because you get to actually have troops command other troops, um, which I've never seen before. Um, I don't know if you guys have, but I think that's one really cool thing that I've noticed about the game that I actually like a lot, that um, you can do that. So I really like that. It's, it's definitely bringing a new um, a new rating style to the game, or at least to this style of game for me, because um, you really can use troop combinations together. Um, as you can see, once again, there they are with the arrows above their heads. They are going directly after defenses because those commanders are still there. There they go. So all of them together... Um, they are all going after the same thing right now in the middle. We just got 100% on that base, guys. Not too shabby. But, um, that's what a general raid looks like. Um, pretty good loot. Um, oh, and here's another thing. I just found a samurai helmet. I'll show you guys what that means. I might have mentioned it before in another video. But, um, if you go down here into your menu and you go to loot, you can see that I have five out of six loots for defense. And once I fill it up, then I get a bonus... I get bonus troops every time that I fight. Um, that's for the attack one. And if we go over defense, we get a cannon of doom. So that's really cool because you actually get rewards besides um, the loot that you get. So I've actually enjoyed that aspect of the game as well. Um, I've only been able to use one once because I've only found all six things um, one time before. But let's go ahead and train up our troops. I'll show you the army composition that I use. I generally do one, two, three commanders, two wall breakers. Um, fill this up with archers and then I do the same in the next camp one two three one two fill this up with archers as well and then in the next one I um, I generally do about 15 of the ninjas to go in and get me some of the resources and then the rest I do samurais um, just so that I can get some some ground melee troops but overall guys that's pretty much it I'm really really enjoying this game um, I'm learning more about it, especially after talking with the developers over at Samurai Siege. Um, I'm super excited about the future of this game, and I hope that many of you are as well. I know that um, some of you are, I know that some of you are playing. Um, comment below if you're playing, what you think about it. If you're not playing and you hate it, okay, you can comment that. It's not going to affect me at all. Um, I'm playing this game because I personally enjoy it, and um, yeah, that's why I'm playing it, as I just said. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these walls as well. Um, there we go. Let's get all those up. All right, so all of those are up. I need to get this one right here as well. And um, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Siege, guys. I hope that y'all are enjoying it. Um, 
leave comments below on things that you really like about the game, um, interesting interesting strategies and tactics. Since this is a new game, like we're the pioneers of it, and it's really, really cool that we get to share this together. Um, so, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You guys rock. Um, I really, really do mean that. Um, let's keep on growing together, guys. We're going to be at 8,000 subs in no time. Um, and if you guys want me to play other games, um, comment in, in some of the videos. I, I try and do that um, uh, every Friday if I can in my uh, Freestyle Fridays series while I'll play another game. Um, but we are going to be seeing more of Samurai Siege. And for those of you who are still watching this, if you just play Clash, Clash is not going away, guys. Again, this is Gaming with Molt. I'm still going to be playing that game. So don't be annoying and say, why are you quitting Clash? Because I'm not. All right? But thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, you guys rock. Um, thanks for the support. And make sure that you uh, keep calm and see John, I guess, for this game. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. All right? Peace.